G'day! Black Friday sales is upon us and I thought I would bring attention to a particular brand which I trust and have been using for a number of years which is Ugreen. Now they are also doing Black Friday deals of up to 40% off on some of their products and I'll put a link in the description below you can follow after this to check out some of their deals. Now Oh, we're going to have a play and look at this particular product, which is the Ugreen Nextnode 100 Watt Charger. This is a gains charger, so it has high efficiency and also less heat, as the gains so says. Now, this is quite small in size, got nice build quality here. It is just really nice and it is usually smaller than a MacBook Air charger. Now it also has prongs, that this is the international version, so this is the American version here, and it has foldable prongs, which is really nice for traveling. And at the moment you'll see for the actual ports, we've got three USB type C ports, and then a USB type A port. Now there are different charging abilities for it, and I'm just gonna bring out with the little spec sheet that it comes with. But basically the top two USB C ports can do 100 watt max, if it's a solo device that's connected to it and the USB C at the the third one which is the C3 now that one can do a maximum of 22.5 watts max and then the USB type A port can do a 22.5 watts max as well type C ports connected can do up to 100 watts combined if you have three then that's 100 watts it is shared between them all but at the moment, we do have a nice sale that's going on Amazon that Ugreen is doing for Black Friday. And at the moment, you're looking at it going for about $39. So that's 29% off, which is absolutely fantastic. I'll put a link in the description below. Now you can charge four devices at the exact same time. It means you don't need to have four different charges to carry around with you. You only just need one. Now we're going to experiment and test out the Ugreen Nexno 100 watt charger. Now I've got a bit of a setup here and I'll explain a little bit as I'm going through it. But... There's the reason why I've got a bit of an extra power adapter is because the U-Green here, even though it's got a foldable prongs here, which is actually great, so that's the American style here. Now here in Australia, we have a different prong system here. As you can see, this is our usual prong system. So hence why I've got a international prong converter here for it. So I'm gonna now plug that into here. So let me just try plug that in here. Hopefully I don't electrocute myself. Now you see I've got two cables here. Now these are, 240 watt cables from Ugreen and I've got one of them currently now plugged into this Dell Precision 5960. Now it does pull out more than 100 watts and I'm just going to try and help bring this tool to give you in the right order so you can hopefully see it. So at the moment if you look at the blue one here it reads 88 watts it's able to pull to this and charge this laptop here. Now that's great, no, neat and all. I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different and I'm actually gonna add in a second computer here. Now this one here doesn't pull uh, more than 100 watts. It only pulls maximum of about 65 watts. And this is the Asus ZenBook S14. So I'm gonna connect that up and we'll see if that actually changes that at all. So that's now connected to the C2 port and that's C1 on top. And at the moment, now this has just detected itself, the two computers, and I can see that this now is, I'm just gonna bring this thing back up as this is also currently in testing mode here. And I'm just gonna have a look at this. Now it's actually changed itself. Now this is now saying it can do 65 watts at the bottom PD, and it's pulling around about 28, which oh, now it's about 60 here. So it's trying to share what it can do to down here, so at the moment I don't have another one of these pull cables, but I'm guessing it's going to do around about 30 to about 40 watts for this second computer here. So hopefully you can see that, uh, that we're actually pulling 61 watts on this computer here. Now I have done this a few times and I'm gonna just disconnect this here. I'm gonna disconnect this computer here and we'll see if this, how this runs, I can, it will hopefully detect that it's able to, as you can see, it's actually changed itself and it says 96 for the power PD and it's slowly building its way up and we'll have a look at this. So hopefully we can see that it is gonna build up to its way to about 88 is what I think. Yep, hitting 88.5 watts right there. 
So it has built itself up to 88 once it's hit there. Now there is probably another 12 more watts. My guess is the 12 watts is probably coming from this exchange of power adapter and unfortunately I have tried another one and it's going to be the same here it's probably lost because of this power adapter I have to change over but if you're on America or that uses that prong system then that wouldn't be a problem at all but still 88 I'm going to have a look at how hot this thing is so at the moment we can see that the U green on the surface temperature it's probably around about 40 degrees or so but internally you're looking at about 49 degrees internally and I'm just going to touch with my hand here that's not hot at all it's actually quite good I wouldn't even say this is even 40 degrees on surface temperature like again just remember I am shooting internally as well and I would suggest this is probably around about 35 degrees it's actually cooler than my hand uh, for here I don't normally feel this and I can feel it pretty well even with temperatures from fevers from my daughter but I don't feel anything here so it's pretty good right there for those that own a MacBook Air M2, you can charge it up to 55% in 30 minutes using the Ugreen Next Node 100 watt charger. The Ugreen Next Node 100 watt charger does a fantastic job at charging, able to save space because I only need one charger instead of four different chargers to charge four different devices. That's fantastic, and it's able to pull 100 watts. Poof, great, and it does it in a really nice temperatures. Fantastic. Now, I'd definitely love to hear other Black Friday sales deals that you may find. If you think they're really great, put it in the comments. I'll definitely get a chapter to check them out as well. Now, I hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it. If you did, even support my channel, smash that like button for me. Share this video, does help me out. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.